I got a new mic, so from now on, I don't have to use this piece of shit. Hello and welcome to the tour of the 12 hour sketchbook project. Um, initially it was supposed to be 12 hours, but it it's ended up being 21 hours. So um, this video kind of only makes sense if you watch the previous one. So I really suggest you go ahead and uh, watch the old video so you get more context about what this whole thing is about. So just, let's just get right into it. So this is the first page and again, I always, again, I talked about this in the previous video, but the first page is always really difficult for me. and. I really have a hard time like trying to get started, so I try to fall back to my comfort zone, and that's always like mechs and like sci-fi spaceships and stuff like that. So um, I have this timing that I wrote here for um, each time I finish a, a spread or a page, I would write the time of the day in which I finish. So you can see here, um, I'm not sure you can really see, but like it's like 7:44 a.m. So that's when I finish this one. I'm uh, jumping into this one. Next one, it's just study. So I kind of have a I had a really hard time finding like things, like coming out of things to draw for each page. So doing studies is a really quick way to just like um, know what to draw because you're just like looking at reference and just like learning from that. And you have like, I have sort of a list of things that I really want to study. And so like nights is one of the things that I, I really like drawing. So I started doing more studies of nights and um, you see this in a lot of uh, sketchbooks, but uh, like this uh, post-it note to like correct stuff over. I, I don't do this a lot and I really should do this more often. It's actually kind of cool looking. Oh yeah, so this is the armor night studies and this is some more night studies. So there's just a, a few things that I really wanted to like tackle and, and this is one of them. This is uh, definitely on the list and I just try to use a lot of different materials. So you can see in each page, this, this is gouache, it's like red ballpoint pen, but with each page, I try to change up the material and like the, the uh, style that I'm doing it in. So there's just a little bit more variety. And again, like this isn't really kind of a sketchbook sketchbook, but it's more of like a, a day long project that I try to incorporate as much variety. I saw this kind of style on Pinterest that I really wanted to try out. It's just clothing silhouette, just be one single blob of like color and then um, drawing the rest in with brush pen. I think this is a brush pen um, 1125. So four pages in four hours isn't really good <laughs> considering there are 40 pages so or 20 spreads. So uh, I I had to like really speed things up. Um, another one of this, uh, like sort of like a scene drawing that I saw in like a lot of collage sketchbooks on YouTube. They have like these like large scenes, like fish eye wide angle scenes with tons of people in them and like, uh, like perspective and stuff like that. So kind of like Kim Jong-gi style. So that's what I wanted to go for. And again, like having a little bit of color in there helps a lot. 12.58 p.m. So this is like, I think after lunch. So this one took, definitely took a lot longer than, than a lot of the other ones. Object studies. So when I draw mix, I always like to look at like real life stuff to figure out how the joints move and things like that. So this is one of them. And uh, another like um, post-it note thing. Again, uh, one thing I learned is that post-it notes don't really work well when you paste them uh, right at the uh, fold line here, the center, cause like it tends to peel off, but it is what it is. Uh, 1.45 PM. Um, some low poly vegetables. So I have like a bok choy and a cauliflower and broccoli. Here and just like some painting. I really wanted to use a lot of different materials. So this is like a gouache painting object, still life study of uh, vegetables. Yeah, so this is like a thing that I didn't know about, but apparently, and I should have really done my research, but apparently CalArts has like a requirement for the sketchbook. So there, uh, there's a list of like things that you have to draw and like 10 figure drawings and whatever. And that would have been really nice to, to have known beforehand because then I wouldn't have to think so hard about what to draw. Figure drawings, you see that a lot in parallel sketchbooks and it's something that everyone should really do. But this was like really quick because it's just like quick gestural figure studies um, done in like color pencil. So these took about maybe 20 minutes per, per spread. So kind of fast. So I had to like basically get things moving because I was running out of time. Um, I don't know what this is. This um this just looks like it's just a random character doodle I guess. 4 p.m. So this took 20 minutes as well. Super quick like pencil drawings I guess. Um yeah. Frame study. So this was 
5 p.m. I finished this at 5 p.m. of Nausicaa. I really like doing frame studies of movies. I do that a lot in digital, but um, I think it was quite nice doing this in brush pen, like gray ink and just like ballpoint pen and just like studying the values of like how they use lighting and the use of darks and lights in the movie. More studies. So again, like studies are something that uh, it's really super easy to just do and like if you really don't know what to draw then just find something that you're interested in and sort of just study it and just draw and copy and use reference to to just uh, understand how to do stuff so this is a uh, gargoyles I just like I, I don't know at the time I just I wanted to draw gargoyles and like understand how those uh, looked and how to draw them so I did some studies and ballpoint pen and then some painting because I wanted like, a gouache full full page gouache painting at some point and for this sketchbook I kind of made a mistake in the sense that I didn't realize the paper was this soft so I couldn't use tape for you know masking of the uh, paint so when I peeled the masking tape it ended up like tearing a little bit but I just drew over it so it's fine but Going forward, I definitely need to get a sketchbook with thicker paper or paper that doesn't peel as easily. Let me see, when did I finish this one? 6.38 p.m. So this is exactly past the 12 hour. This is the last page I finished at the 12 hour mark. And then the rest was just like me going um, through the night, just like finishing it. Some vehicle sketches, I saw some stuff online that brush pen vehicles is something that I guess I do a lot of if you've seen my other older stuff. So yeah, it's just, um, just a quick quick sketch. Yeah, so this was like going really late into the night, just like 10, 20, and, and then uh, by that point, I've been drawing for, oh, I would say about 14, 15 hours, right? So I was definitely at my wit's end <laughs> and my mind was like super free. So I just like quickly do load some stuff, some studies of like sparrows, just because I, I saw on Instagram, a friend was like drawing birds and I really wanted to just try it out. So um, some sparrow studies. Uh, yeah, so 12, 27, and by then, there was 18 hours of just like staring at the sketchbook and I really wanted to get this done. I drew some max, falling back into like the comfort zone of just like drawing sci-fi robots. That's like um, how I deal with stress, I guess. Um, hand studies, everyone should be doing this. Um, and again, like when you see the uh, real color sketchbooks, they're a lot more dense and I don't really, I didn't really have the time to like fill it up right so like even like my figure drawings and these are, are there are not as many drawings as, as I would like to have on the page I, I filled the page up but definitely if I had more time they would be a lot more densely packed on the page and I would probably have like another extra like four to five or six more studies just like squeezed in here um car drawings just trying to like find different subject matter so going from like hand studies to cars to environments to objects and like vegetables so i'm just trying to go through as many different objects as possible just so it's more interesting to look at like uh, i don't want to fill the entire page with like just mechs and like robots and sci-fi spaceships which by the way i can do and i have no problem filling it up just with like that but for the sake of this project again i wanted to have some more variety and this is a 2.30 a.m. And then like, I just finished it up with some animal drawings because I, I, I mean I had birds, but like not really any like real animal figure studies. So here's some boars done in a color pencil. This is like 2.49. And I think, yeah, this is my last drawing. And I finished this up because I, I just wanted this sketchbook to reflect my state going throughout the day. And I think it was really appropriate to just end it with this. Like I am done. It was like 3 a.m. when I finished this. So that's the end of the sketchbook. And again, I, I kind of make this, I want to make this a habit of like dating my sketchbooks. So it says here the 7th of November and we started on the, on the uh, 6th of November. So it was a, this is a day, this sketchbook lasted a day basically. So I kind of want to do this with my sketchbooks going forward. This is the first time I'm doing this, but I think it's really nice to just have a date. That is the uh, sketchbook. If you like it, like it. That would be nice if you subscribe. Bye guys.